Sunday, January 21st, 2024. The time is 11.42 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is my near future events for February 2024. I'm looking to perceive major world news events that will occur in the next month, sometimes out to, to 90 days. But my main target window is uh, within the next month. So let's get to it. Okay, I have to record what I perceive. Here I see Slushing sounds. Blood. What to say? I could be heading. Off with his head. Cut off, and there's a blade involved. Terror. may even be a, a hostage type situation. Gruesome. Barbaric. Uncalled for. 
outrage. Militant. Mercenary. Now to disturbing new details involving a gruesome murder in Bucks County where police say a man was beheaded by his son. Now we do want to warn you, some of this is disturbing. Middletown Township Police identifying the suspect as 32-year-old Justin Moan and the victim, his father, is 68-year-old Michael Moan. Police were called to the home around 7 last night and that's when court documents say officers made the horrific discovery of the victim's head in a pot. Moan was arrested more than 100 miles away. And Chris, that was after police say he posted a shocking video on YouTube. That's right, Sheena, Sheba. That 14-minute videotaped manifesto, Justin Moan called himself a militia leader, asking for the murder of federal judges and employees. We've been pouring over court documents. We've been looking at police records to get a clear picture of what led up to the grisly murder of his father and his arrest two hours away. And again, some of the details may be difficult to hear. The arrest affidavit shows the wife of 68-year-old Michael Moan left the Middletown Township home at 2 p.m. Tuesday. It was about three hours later, Justin Moan posts that gruesome 14-minute video showing the decapitated head of his father and appearing to read a script calling for the murder of federal employees and the media. 6.59 p.m., 911 is called when Moan's wife returns home to find her husband found dead in the bathroom along with a machete and large kitchen knife. Moan's severed head was found in another room. As police immediately started their search for Justin Moan, news of the decapitation stunned this Levittown neighborhood. We do have breaking news just into CNN. We want to warn you, this is very disturbing. A Pennsylvania man was charged with murder and abuse of a corpse after police say he posted a YouTube video in which he claims to show his father's decapitated head while ranting about the Biden administration and the border crisis. Now, this video circulated online for hours before being taken down. The father of the individual was a federal employee. The son called him a traitor. With us now, former FBI deputy director and CNN senior law enforcement analyst Andrew McCabe and CNN's Danny Freeman. Danny, I want to start with you. This is breaking right now. What more do we know about what actually happened here? Yeah, Phil, and just to state the obvious, obviously, as you said, this is an incredibly disturbing story. I watched part of this video last night, and it's one of those things that it's an image you just can't get out of your head. Um, yesterday, this is when this all started, uh, this video was posted on YouTube. The suspect here is uh, Justin Moan. He's 32 years old. He's from uh, Middletown Township in Pennsylvania. That's in Bucks County. Uh, and as you said, this video uh, contains a number of rantings, basically, about the Biden administration, about the border. At one point, even declaring himself the acting president uh, under martial law. Uh, but then there's this horrific moment when he appears to show the head of his uh, deceased father on camera, uh, saying that his father was a traitor to the country because he was a federal employee. Uh, now, that video, like you said, Phil, stayed up for a long time. Eventually, later into the evening, uh, YouTube uh, was able to take it down. Even X uh, seemed to be taking down videos that people were just reposting and reposting. 